Good morning. Welcome to a morning review on Tuesday, the uh, 9th of February. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. So, looking at the uh, Forex markets and starting with the Euro, uh, we, we've had um, quite a shake up in the markets uh, again the last couple of days. Banks have uh, reared their ugly heads and and in particular Deutsche Bank is uh, getting a bit of a hammering. So uh, Greece has come back to the uh, headlines and uh, it seems same old, same old. We're back in that cycle of um, risk on, risk off. <laughs> and we're back on with risk on again. It's very risky out there. Um, uh, so uh, Anyway, um, so markets, uh, the markets are going to bonds. The equity markets are taking a bit of a dive. Um, the, uh, futures here, I'll just put the futures on for the US futures for a moment. You can see they've been diving for a while. Uh, there's all sorts of um, aspects causing partial dives here in terms of some of the energy markets and uh, NASDAQ. And it's uh, running around the world. It's not just the US. So it's uh, pretty much a, a same old, same old picture. Uh, all the markets are taking a bit of a hammering at the moment. So um, when this happens, we generally see money run to bonds, and that's what we're seeing. We've seen the yields changing and reducing as the uh, uh, money's running in there. So at the moment, uh, so we'll run through and see what we've got here. So the euro is pushing back, or has pushed back towards its uh, the highs again, once again. Um, it's almost triply topped up here. At the moment, uh, just selling off again, pushing back. We just still do have that weekly pivot below us. We still got some targets I have below, but uh, for now, it's uh, it's sitting up there. Uh, now uh, we have got daily pivot below us, uh, which uh, would normally be quite a good target if we can get into a trade for it. So uh, this is certainly a possibility to get down to 11.66 area. Any rallies breaking this trend line, well, I'd be looking for a push back up to those highs there and the daily R1. So if we do start breaking that sort of uh, trend line I've drawn on here, I'd be looking for the R1. But uh, we'll, we may see the uh, continuation now to the downside here to, for the pivot at least. Um, break of this support from the 34.50. The 50 is pretty flat. You can this pretty sums up the market. The indecision that's sort of happening here is the market. The moving averages run themselves flat. They, they tend to have less support as they do so, but we'll see. Um, uh, there are three moving, uh, two moving average and the pivot sitting together there, so they might get a little bit of bounce off that if it breaks through it. But then I'd be looking uh, for the daily S1 there, and hopefully at some point the weekly pivot, if we get into it, that is, of course. Okay, uh, cable, the pound dollar. Um, well, uh, the pound hasn't um, quite reacted the same way. Um, it's uh, continued its uh, move south. Um, moment where well, it's just chopping a little bit, it's a little less clear in some respects. However, untouched daily pivot above us. So we've got this sort of reverse action that we've seen in the last few weeks where the, the pound goes down, the euro runs up. Um, we may see uh, uh, a break of this trend line at some point this morning and maybe the daily pivot uh, hit and uh, may run back towards uh, the uh, fifth, uh, 60 minute 50. Uh, any failures down here? Well, we, we could be in the, in the world of new, uh, some uh, newer lows again, pushing back down to that 43, uh, 38 sort of area down towards the S1. So if it starts breaking down, I, I was looking to try and draw a trend line. I could really probably pop it on very soon um, across this way here. So it's sort of a if or all. <laughs> if it breaks the upside, we're looking for the pivot, maybe the 50, maybe upwards. Uh, to the downside here, looking for the, uh, the lows, yesterday's lows in the S1. Okay, dollar yen. Yen, when we see uh, the, the, the shaky shakiness at the moment, we've seen the uh, strength going to the yen, and this uh, we're seeing that again yesterday, and uh, through the Asian session today, it's been running there, although it's currently bouncing. Um, uh, the weekly pivot is quite way off there now. It's starting to become a, a sort of quite distant. But if we do still see, well, really, it's already pushing up quite strongly at the moment. Daily pivots above at uh, 116, um, so 18, somewhere in that region, 16, 16 region. Um, that certainly could be a target um, and possible retracing to, to uh, take for that is a possibility. 
Um, 50 MAs, etc. over there. I mean, again, areas that might run back towards. Um, any sell-off though, if it starts selling, well, it's already through. Uh, it's daily R1, R2 is probably, uh, sorry, S, S1 rather. Uh, S2 is down here, may, may provide some, some support with the monthly uh, S, uh, S1, S2, S2 just sitting below so maybe give some support in that region okay um, Aussie dollar the uh, equity markets there again took a hammering um, but we've seen the Aussie selling off as well um, state is getting pushed further and further um, just finding us a bit of support on that four hourly hundred at the moment just looking what else is going on yeah okay so we've got the daily pivots above us here uh, which uh, if you get any sustained rally from this movement uh, maybe if it can break back above its R1 something's already uh, sorry S1 it's already below its S1 here uh, weak but if you can put start pushing back up we could see it uh, rally towards its daily pivot there it's all a bit pretty bearish as you see in the 50 crossing the 200 all, all sort of uh, confirmation of a, of a weak market uh, a bit like the uh, yen in a sense if it does break these lows here well the s2 is just below um, and then you really are pushing the barrel out but the pivots are quite pinched today so generally we don't see prices run down this and the s2 is very much uh, but it may may uh, do so if it does sell off Okay, Canadian dollar, um, as you see, it's been edging its way back again um, on, the, on the weakness of oil, mostly. It's just flicking to oil. Uh, you'll see oil's uh, come off again. There's no, seem, it doesn't seem to be any agreement that's in sight uh, from the oil producers and uh, just keep on slipping backwards and forwards. Rumors happen and they, we get a rally and then uh, reality happens and we get the sell-off again. So um, uh, the Canadian dollar pretty much... Uh, now seems to well, it's, it, it survived well the last it was it strengthened against the us dollar which bear in mind this is us dollar canadian dollar it strengthened pretty well over the last near enough four or five weeks but it looks like that might start breaking out now if we can uh, push on up above these upper bands uh, we could be pushing up for that monthly pivot which sits there at uh, 141 uh 58 sort of area so it could be a potential it's certainly in this time intermediate time frames it's looking like the trend there's certainly a trend change for the higher lows higher highs uh could be pushing up for now though you just may just need to pull back and catch it's, it's got an untouched daily pivot below you may just want to come back and clip that uh, and maybe even retest the 50 so we may just get a sell-off uh for a short while retest of this 50 but uh if it can bounce from then well i'd be looking to play back for the, towards yesterday's highs in the r1 okay um that's pretty much it for today uh news wise there's not a great deal of news coming out it's still chinese uh, bank holidays they're running to the second uh, day of new year um very low um value data effectively not sort of major moving uh, price moving data should i say i'm just looking who we've got in terms of we've got an mpc uh, a speaker at 9 30 uh, so uh, you can see a bit of pattern of the movement uh, i'm just looking at what is supposed to be a federation residential conference and, uh, um, we may get a little bit of movement at 9 30 uh, for the pound but uh, there, there's very little in the way of significant news coming out today so there we go hope you have a great one bye for now